big tech companies, Microsoft, Apple, Facebook, and Tesla all hitting the tape this week. Ryan, what are you watching right here, right now? Well, I think first off, we should expect more of the same, right? Earnings beats, uh, you know, based on what analysts have predicted. And I always joke, analysts make fortune tellers look good. They're always a little slow to readjust their earnings. Uh, but you got to remember, this is Q4 earnings for, for last year, and it's still not going to be great, right? We're looking at earnings being down somewhere around 5%. So it really comes down to better than feared, I would say, than, you know, better than, uh, than expected when it comes to earnings this quarter. Now, you mentioned, you know, what I think drives everything right now, and that's big tech. So you have Microsoft, Tesla, you have Apple, you have Facebook all reporting in the next two days. And if you think about those stocks right now, they really drive all the return in the S&P 500. I've talked a lot about this. But what's really interesting right now is there's so much speculation around those stocks. I mean, if you look at option contracts, they had like a half a trillion trade in one day in January, which is the most ever which just speaks to all the speculation in the market right now. There's a lot of options being traded against these positions. And a lot of times when you're this bullish, like you're seeing right now on these type of stocks, you know, they tend to disappoint when that, how these stocks actually trade. So it's going to be interesting to see how they, how they play out, because I think their expectations are going to be beat, or they're going to beat expectations. But I, I think the stocks may not trade that great here just because there's so much money betting on those stocks right now. And I think that's going to be a continued problem as a lot of these smaller investors are in the market right now, just playing the market more like a casino. And it's going to be very, very interesting how that kind of plays out over the course of the next couple of months.